Congratulations. 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 Thank you. After elimination, all of the partying is really starting to catch up on me, and I'm not feeling particularly great. I need to get some sleep. I'll see you later. Good night. So I left the girls alone. They started hanging out. They're doing their thing. Damn, thank you. <laughs> after elimination tonight, I feel relieved. I feel great after it. So uh, I definitely started drinking and partying. Maybe a little too much. She was just super drunk, getting everybody's nerves. Everybody was just fed up with her. Erin, how do you feel? I know you wanted to go home. It was kind of annoying, actually. <laughs> I was a huge drunk, sloppy mess. Here, why don't you take the water? Yeah, why don't you take the water to the Damn. alcohol? <laughs> what? Don't talk to me no more. <laughs> no, no, I, girls. Mm, I'm really hungover. Yeah, I think I'm gonna puke on all you guys today. Today, I'm feeling like shit because I am so hungover, but I heard I had a good time at the party last night. Can I just like shoot my head off right now? I'm not winning these challenges, and I haven't been able to get any one-on-one -on -one time with Brett yet, and it's starting to make me nervous. If I can't win these challenges, I'm gonna have to come up with a new plan. Girls, here's a note. Woo! When I walk upstairs and I look at the pool table, I see a note from Brett and piles of sports gear. You know a good cheerleader can turn me on, but I really like a girl who knows how to go long. So suit up, ladies, because it's almost game time. And his usual date with your man is on the line. There's only one more thing. Although it brings me great sorrow, I'll be saying goodbye to one more of you tomorrow. Aww. I absolutely love football. This is totally my game. This is right in my alley. I'm a tomboy. I love athletics. It's on. Oh, we get booty short. Two girls went home last night, and it's starting to sink in that I need to win one of these challenges and get a date to get Brett's attention and have him get to know me, and vice versa. We're not sweethearts. <laughs> Our team name is the Sweethearts, and my teammates are Jess, Magdalena, and Mia. I'm very confident about my team, except the foreigner, Magdalena. Love her, but I don't think she knows much about American football. Oh, she's Welcome to my sweetheart. We are on the Fallen Angels team with Lacey. We're like the most notorious girls in the house. And Erin can't see past those big ass boobs. Then we have Sam, who's an emotional wreck. Great. What a team. A little dehydration. You gonna be alright today? You gonna yeah. mom it? Oh yeah. Hangover or no hangover, I'm still gonna kick ass and win. I'm just glad that finally there's a challenge that's athletic driven. I know I'm gonna win this one. The other ones, the phone sex and the music, not so much my thing. Sports, definitely. Come on, ladies, come on, line up. Oh my goodness. There is mud all over the field, and it's wet. I kind of want to go back in the limo and go home. Hey, good morning, ladies. I welcome you to the first annual Brett's Mud Football Game, as you can <laughs> see. I love football. I love to watch it. I love to play it. I want a girl who loves football. Here's what we're going to do today. We are going to get down and dirty, tackle football yeah! in the mud. We're going to set up two teams, four girls each. We're gonna let them play. Oh, <gasps> hang over. You know what? If I puke on a girl, maybe that'll get her out of the game. The team that wins the game today, right? They get to go on a really awesome date. But the MVP of the team who wins gets to go on a very special date with me tonight. I already had to share a date with Brett. Now I want him all to myself. I gotta get this MVP award. I'm gonna be the quarterback of both teams. Big John here is gonna be your referee. Over here, let me introduce you to my good friend Rodney Scott. He's here to womp your ass. Coach? I'm gonna be tough. Like he said, you gotta have heart. But now let's see who's gonna go the extra mile. Come on. Being that I was playing quarterback for both teams, I brought along a friend of mine, Coach Rodney Scott. He's gonna run these girls on the defense. All right, I'm gonna kick to you. Fallen Angels, you're on this side. Let's take our positions. I'm going for the solo date. I'm determined. I'm gonna win. I'm gonna fuck some bitches up. Get her, tear them, break them, get them out of here. Right now, our team is so tough. We are gonna win this thing for sure. Fuck it. Damn it. Fuck it. Fuck it. Damn it, we are gonna win this. I'm gonna fuck that motherfucker up. Oh. As long as my face doesn't get fucked up. You ready? First annual Brett Mud Bowl. Let's rock. Oh, 
shit. Get down there, girls. Get Sam. Get down there. I'm from Poland. I don't know nothing about football. It talks to me soccer language, and maybe we can understand each other. But football, I'm out. Oh, shit. Get her. Call it. I attempted a tackle, but I kind of ended up giving Magdalene a really big hug. Lou, sit down. Hug one. <laughs> oh my god, Brandy is a mess. This is a problem. Get up, get up, get up, get up! I can be honest, these are not the kind of football players I'm used to playing with. They had this look on their face of what is uh, going on. They're running the ball. They're running the ball. What does running the ball mean? Oh god, we definitely do not know how to play football. A two, go long! Wait, we're too far. Oh, Touchdown! Okay. I knew that something sneaky was coming out. Shit. Good job, good job. That touchdown may be one of the sexiest moments in football ever. Jess is bringing on her A game right now. All right, here we go. Hi, Sam. Oh, oh, shit, yeah. Oh, fuck. Oh. You know what? I want that date, damn it. If I have to, you know, break some girl's wrist or knock out some teeth, I'm gonna do it. Go, go, go! Oh. Tackling is starting early. The tackling is starting early. Lisa gets the ball. I'm fucking charging that girl, and I'm laying her ass out. Blue have won. Get it. Run, Sammy. Okay. Run, baby. Fuck. Run, run, run. Run, 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 run Lacey. Run, Lacey. Run. 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 Hold the ball. Hold the ball. Fuck. Ow. Ow. So Jess tackles Lacey, and she goes down like a ton of bricks. <laughs> Pretty gross. Oh. Right now. My ankle. Did you break it? It hurts so bad. <laughs> Hold on, baby. Hold on. Oh, shit. My ankle. Set, hike, go. Run, run, run. Jess comes around and nails her, and she's out. Yes. <laughs> oh, wait, but she's still on my team. <laughs> Whatever, who cares? Fuck her. Hold on, oh. we need a medic right now. God, Hold on, baby. Out. Hold on. You're all right. <laughs> now that I think about it, Lacey got what she deserved after that stupid circus stunt when she pushed me in the pool. <laughs> Don't no! fall! Oh, oh, no. my God. Here's the deal. What we're going to do, each team, go to the bench and decide you're going to have to call a player out, but that player also would not be eligible to, for the date if you win. Lacey got seriously injured, and now we have to set her out for the rest of the game. The other team, the Sweethearts, had to bench one of their players, and whoever was benched would not get the MVP solo date. All right, what do you guys want to do? Brandy, she was so drunk. It's like, go sit on the sidelines, have some beers, heal yourself up. You two, sure. what do you want to do? I don't, I want to play. All right, just go. Fine, fuck it. It's best that I sit out because I'm so hungover from the night before. I mean, I have to take the blame for it, but now I don't have a chance to win the MVP date with Brett. Oh, girl. Go. <laughs> so, right, sorry. I'll be the cheerleader. A one, a two, go. Oh, Sam, Sam, Sam. Sam, catch it. Get it. Set. Blue. A one, two, hike. Go. Oh, good God. A two. Sam, straight down. Oh, I'm watching Jess. She can run, she can catch, she can sprint, and the savage beast is coming out. Who's that? Ah! He's done! Ball goes to the sweethearts. Set. All right, go! Right here. Watch out! Fuck! Touchdown, Jess. Touchdown, Jess. That's what I'm talking about. Listen, you guys, we got to win this shit. I'm serious. I want this fucking date. My teammates have never touched a football ever. Am I going to have to carry this fucking team? Hey, go! Fucking nice job. Heather hits like a bull. I mean, knock down and dirty tackle football. It's quite a turn on. Hey! Heather! Oh, oh go, 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 baby! Go, go, go. Oh. Three doors, two. Rolling Angels, one. Hey, right, come on, girls. Get down there. Let's two. Hike! 
<laughs> Heather's on a mission to kill all of us. She's like the Mack truck. We got blood over here. Out. Do you want to get? You want to no, see the medic? I don't know. Are you cool. sure? Okay. You ready? Time is running out. My team's behind. The score is two to one. This is our last chance. If we don't score now, it's over. Hey, 42. Hey, hey. <laughs> it's getting good. Heather can't keep her clothes on in any event that we do. And before long, there she was, crawling around butt naked in the mud. It was a good sight to see. <laughs> it's getting good. The game's getting good. <laughs> Fallen Angels, too. Sweetheart, too. You got five seconds left, guys. As it starts to boil down the game, it's getting really tense. I mean, this is about the date. This is about the MVP. Jess knows she's their MVP. Heather knows she's the MVP. And they're fighting for a solo date now. You see the ball in the air? Try to intercept it and go for the touchdown. The game is now tied. I am on fire right now. I'm so pumped up. If I score one more touchdown, totally going to be MVP, and Brett will be mine for the night. Okay, ready? Block Heather. Block Heather. They only got time for one play. I'm stressing about the score of the game. Right now, it's do or die. Set. Hey, hey, go. Oh. And go. Go. <laughs> Sweethearts win! Victory goes to Sweethearts, ladies! So I'm totally stoked. My team won because we get to go on an actual date with Brett. Good job, you guys! Good, job. I don't, I don't, good game, you guys! I'm so fucking pissed right now. I cannot fucking handle this shit. We fucking lost, you stupid fucking bitches. Fuck! Good game. Girls that lost, they deserve it. That's all I can say about that. <laughs> okay. I just want to say this, Fallen Angels, Sweethearts, Today was awesome. It was such a close game. However, for the winning team over here, the Sweethearts, I have this, the first annual Brett's Mud Bowl Championship Trophy. Woo! Here you go, come on! Come on, girl! Woo! And for our MVP of the day, Jess, right. you are gonna have a special day tonight, and tomorrow we all go out and rock. Nice. How's that sound? I'm feeling really good about the date tonight because number one, it's just Brett and myself going out. So I get a lot of one-on-one -on -one time with him tonight, which I'm really excited about. I think I'll get to know him a lot better. Thank, Thank you. you. Yes. All right. Jess is my MVP. She's going on a date with me. She's very young. She's very beautiful, but I have no real solid connection to her. Uh, Big round of applause. I am really pissed off between today's challenge and the motorbikes. I'm just having a rough streak right now. I just feel like I can't win. Girls, yeah. let's go. Let's get in a limo. Everybody is exhausted, passed out. Uh, Lacey's ankle, she can't even walk. We're a bunch of broken bitches. Oh. I've got to win the next challenge. I have to. I have to, have to. It makes me nervous because I can't count on being able to win these challenges to get to spend one-on-one -on -one time with them. I'm very vindictive when I want to be. If I can't win these challenges, I may as well spend my time trying to knock these other girls out of here. Oh. I'm getting ready for my date with Brat, and I'm frazzled. I never get nervous. This never happens to me. Jess is always cool and calm, not a nervous wreck, and I'm freaking out. I think once you're like there, you'll loosen up a little bit. For being 23, my walls are pretty high. You know, every guy I've dated is cheating on me. I know Brett's concerned that I'm keeping him at arm's length away but I just hope that he gives me enough time to show him that I can let my guard down. I'm gonna be escorting you to your date tonight. I'm ready for my date, and Big John says that he's my escort. You excited? Very. Good. Then I'm gonna start worrying. Well, where the hell's Brett? <laughs> you all good? Yeah, I'm good. Hello? Josh, this is Aaron. How's work been? <laughs> it's been going good. This max event tomorrow is gonna be, it's so big, like the guy that sings Bringing Sexy Back is gonna be there. Shut up. So I call my boss to check in with him, and he tells me that Justin Timberlake's gonna be there. No, I, I'm not gonna be there for that. Justin Timberlake is coming into Underground tomorrow night. Yeah, everybody's freaking out. 
I'm sitting there by the jacuzzi and I hear Aaron's voice and she was really upset because she spoke with her boss and Justin Timberlake is supposed to be going into her work tomorrow night and Aaron was supposed to be serving him. Um, I have to be quiet because Aaron's like right out there. Um, she goes, Justin Timberlake's gonna be at my work tomorrow and I would have been the one to wait on him. Like she'd rather be hanging out with Justin Timberlake than with Brett. Like, oh my God. Bitch. Jeez. Okay, I'm putting it in there right now. Yeah. I decide to sit down and write Brett a letter, exposing all the rest of the girls. Once he finds all this out that I'm about to tell him, there's no way. Get the hell out of here and go hang out with Justin Timberlake, you star fucker. So we gotta be really strategic. It's like, first we got rid of Dallas, next we get rid of Aaron, you know, and we just keep going one by one until they're all out of here. Yeah. Aaron is our new target. And, you know, Heather and I are going to spend as much time as it takes to collect all the dirt on her, and we're going to present that to Brett. He's going to send her home. Right this way. So as the MVP of the Mud Bowl Championship, I get the solo date with Brett Michaels. But I was definitely on the fence about him. I was still trying to read him. So I don't know if I should let my guard down or not. Big John escorts me in, and Brett's nowhere to be found. Little table, two chairs, and then back beyond, there's a little stage with a guitar. Hey, Jess, how are you doing tonight? Good, how are you? Good. I've been waiting so long for this date, and I wrote a beautiful song, and I want to play it for you, all right? Okay. All right. I like Jess a lot, but at this point, she has her guard up, her arms about still like this, and i got to find a way to connect. All right, here we go. I'll admit, I pretty much suck at dating, but what I do know how to do is music. This is called All I Ever Needed. It goes like this. Picks up his guitar when he starts playing a song. I'm actually just like staring at him kind of mesmerized because I've never seen him sing before. I'm just taken back by it. My game plan is trying to get to know this girl and have the walls come down a little bit. When I was a kid, I used to save up my money from Bob's Big Boy so it looked like I had money, but I didn't want to take you out on a date and be like, um, can you pay for everything for us tonight? As we pulled out of Mechanicsburg, Pennsylvania, and I had the picture the day we left, on a Polaroid, mind you, driving in a van that did not run. We're like, you know, like <laughs> we're gonna make it, Ma, you know, I'm gonna be real famous one day. My heart to hold on to. Rock and roll has killed a lot of my long-term relationships. When I got my heart broken the first few times, in fact, I wrote Every Rose Has a Storm over a broken heart, it kills. Mm -hmm. I, and so there's this thing, there's this, there's this guard that went around my heart. I can't say that I've ever been in love. The last guy I was dating cheated on me with my best friend. That would hurt me bad. 100%. I was surprised, to be honest with you. I'm starting to feel comfortable around him, which is huge. I finally realized that I'm ready to let my guard down and move forward with it. So then from that point on, it was awesome. We share the laugh to join pain. But it's a moment like this I hope to never ends the same. We didn't need fortune, didn't need fame. Just a little It was a really, really experience. I lost myself in her eyes and her laughter and her funniness and I, I really felt me and Jess finally had connected. So let me have one kiss before we go any further. Okay. And Brett, let me tell you, he's a good kisser. All I ever needed, all I ever needed was... Not only do we have that emotional connection now, but we also figured out that we had that physical connection too. It was awesome. We totally clicked. Yo, Heather, where are you at? The next day I wake up and I get this letter from Heather and this letter kind of tells me all the dirt on all the girls and, and it pissed me off. Come on, I want to talk to you for a minute. Okay. I got to clear a few things up. Did you ever have one of those days where you, you know you're in a good mood, but the, the devil is about to blow? How the hell am I in trouble right now? I'm just trying to protect Brett. What, does he not trust me now? I just don't, I don't get it. I started to read your letter, and I am ready to fucking go insane. I think you're here for me, and don't think you're lying to me. No. Whew. 
I'm relieved. I totally have Brett's back, and he appreciates that. Aaron, first of all, I still think she has a boyfriend. I heard that she had a boyfriend and was supposed to get married. Or a guy she's in love with. Second of all, every time I turn around, she's bitching about some celeb that's coming into her restaurant. I wanted to believe in Aaron, but this letter kind of pissed me off and uh, started a, um, a domino effect. Like, I can hear, like, frickin' Justin Timberlake was gonna be in our restaurant eating, you know? and, I'm, and I'm here, and I'm like, wait a minute, you're trapped here? I'm just starting to really read. I'm like, you don't give a fuck. I'm Johnny Bravo to you if the jacket fits. Right. You know, I can't play this mind game no more. I can't do it. Half these girls, I'm like, I'm like, first of all, they're like, they're like testing me. Same I'm worked you. up, right? I'm getting, <laughs> I'm done. Right. I'm done. Tonight, um, tonight, it's on. I'm not worried about this elimination at all. I've proved to Brett how much I care about him. So I'm in the clear. I'm golden. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. Good morning. I've got a note here from Brett. Please read it, and we'll see you in a little bit. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning, my tough ass players, Magdalena, Bibi, and Mia. You each made my day with your pigskin playing skills. I hope you're prepared to go in for the kill. Go get dressed, dialed up, and cute. I'll meet you soon, and then we can shoot. Ooh, are we going gun shooting? Today, Brett's taking me, Brandy, and Magdalena to a shooting range. None of us are gun-shy. We're ready to shoot it. Let's go. Ready, hot stuff? I am so ready. Let's jump in. Make this date rock. Like, if I could meet, like, a nice doctor or a lawyer or something, like, I, you know, it would be nice. Heather and I, we're just spending the day today trying to, you know, talk to Aaron and get all the dirt out of her that we can so we can use it against her. I've never been able to be attracted to, like, a straight-edge, like, preppy, jock kind of a guy. That's what I'm into usually. Really? She's... Really, really, obviously not here for Brett. This bitch is gonna go home. What is the going on? What is the going on? After my sit down with Heather, Aaron is really weighing heavy on my mind. Think about Aaron is in there on the phone, fucking openly talking about what celebrities coming off. If it wasn't Justin Timberlake, it'd be you know De Niro. Mm -hmm. De Niro's coming yeah. in. It turns out that I was about to be a notch on Aaron's bedpost. I'm a notcher. I make the notches, not Aaron. Why would you rather be there when you have an opportunity like this? Brett thinks that she's just a star fucker. So if I were her, I'd be nervous right now. And I'm watching everybody and I'm listening and that's where you get yeah. your best gossip. Thank you. Oh. Wow! I'm gonna hit every target. <laughs> I want to take these girls out with me to the gun range and let them just unleash the beast. I want to introduce you beautiful girls to my buddy Tim here. When we go down to that gun range, you got a safety lesson. Just drop it in right here into the cylinder. As soon as you shut this, gun is ready to be fired. So Brett, you want to I'm shoot so a couple? Excited. Yeah. Uh oh. I love to go out in the range and shoot. It's an awesome, euphoric experience for me. And I want a girl in my life who is cool with that. Who do we want to bring down first? I say Mia, you come down first. Come on, babe. Okay. Never held a gun before ever in my entire life. I was very, very nervous. Oh, we'll start that one again. Aim a little lower. Come. Whoa. I'm going to get that fucking soda. You know what? After all the drama from these ganks in this house, shooting that gun oh, took it all away. <laughs> so I'm very, very excited, even though I'm, you know, I'm a little scared because I'll kill someone maybe by a chance. I started shooting, everything was just falling down. Oh! Ay, ay, ay. Maybe Magdalene is kind of like a Polish spy or CIA or something. Magdalena took out every single target on the range, and it was mind-blowing. She didn't miss nothing. Oh! Wow! Whoa, Magdalena, we have discovered your new talent. I will never do this to you. I promise. Oh, man. I promise you something totally cool. So after we're done shooting, Brett takes us into the lodge for a nice lunch. This is going to be unique. We haven't done any of this on any of the dates Thanks. yet, so this will be great. I was pretty excited to see what Brett had in store for us. Buffalo. During 
lunch, I asked the girls uh, a very simple question. Could I trust Heather? Was her letter accurate? With Heather coming in and writing me a note and telling me this stuff, I, you know, I don't know what you girls think about her. We find out that Heather wrote a letter to Brett about every single person in the house. And I'm just surprised. How could he even fucking trust her? As a female, no, you can't trust her. At her age, in, in the way she, her style, lifestyle, not of what she does for work, but her lifestyle of always well, wanting to party. When I was asking her stuff, she's like, I'm not into that, really. I'm real quiet. Mm -hmm. I'm not like this at the bar. Obviously, she's lying about it. I got to admit that, uh, I'm not sure if I can totally trust Heather. She may be setting these girls up. Right. Is she real money hungry? Does she yeah. fuck people for money? I do know about her that she was on Surreal Life with Vanilla Ice. She was on the show. And she was trying to um, bang Vanilla Ice. And like, you can actually show. see it. Yeah, you can, yeah. Heather was trying to bang him. And this starts to really set me off. I mean, that was on She TV. hasn't said that to me at all. Yeah. One thing I know for certain is I, Brett Michaels, will not be played. I'm saying those people today I need closure with. Take care of some business. What she's thinking about is what she misses, and, and she, right. wants, she wants to be back at home. She does. She does. She doesn't want to be here. So. She doesn't want to be with him. So we have an elimination tonight, and Heather and I have become an alliance as of this point, and we decided who's going to be our next target, and clearly it should be Aaron. So she has no plan to even, like, be with Brad with Pepper. Right. She's like, that's not in her future. So she's here for the wrong reason. Way wrong. She just got into, um, um... We're planning and we're strategizing, and Aaron comes walking up behind us, and I'm totally taken by surprise. Uh, what sort I'm looking for, um, I could, uh... I'm hoping that she didn't hear what we were saying. Your hair looks fun. Even though Heather's being nice to me, I still don't trust her. Heather's definitely one of those girls that is trying to set me up all the time. Bye-bye, Erin. You had a good time. We'll go in raising help. I get back home from my date, and I need to find out what Heather wrote in that letter because I don't trust that bitch at all. Heather, Heather, come here. We got a question. Um, Brett told us about the letter. You know, that, like, I was in it or whatever. What was that? What did you say? I'm not sure if Brandy exactly knows what's in the letter or if she's trying to get me to tell her what's in the letter. Well, at first I was just telling him that I, I felt like, um, I felt bad that he was sick. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? There's no way in hell I'm telling these girls exactly what was in that letter. That was for Brett's eyes only. And I also told him that I felt embarrassed that I had my shirt spun off so much. Heather tries to claim that the letter was all about her and apologizing for running around the house naked. It's bullshit. She's talking shit about everybody. I don't want you guys to think like I like wrote a list of each one because that's not what happened. Well, that's right. The whole letter was like, a, like about me. There's no way Heather's writing a book about her life. What is she writing? Stripper diaries? Please. I don't need a castle made stone. Just do that as I go on. I'm ready to chime in and have Heather's back. So one of the things I wanted to discuss with Brett was my concerns about Aaron and how I felt that she is not here for him. She's always like constantly talking about, you know, oh God, I could have met this guy, I could have met that guy. And then um, at the pool today, we were talking about like what our types is as far as guys go. And she was like, yeah, you know, I, I she's like, that's not, has never really been my type. I really like football player, preppy, jock types, you know. Right. It makes Heather and I go, does she really like Brett? Now the problem I had with Heather and I told her straight up, I said, you need to be more straight with me though. I said, because I know some shit about you that the girls have been saying, mm -hmm. one of them being, you know, when she was doing Surreal Life for the world to see, mm -hmm. and she was trying to bang Vanilla Ice, right. all of a sudden my emotions flipped. And I was like, was oh, this just, you're just here, this is a fun party for a little bit? Heather and I are in alliance together, but, you know, I'm not going to try to convince Brett that he should trust Heather or that he shouldn't be concerned about her. Heather, she throws the other girls out there and says, this girl did this and this girl did that. I'm not so sure she's going to be the one to cast the first stone either. I do see what you're saying. If Brett trusts me more than he trusts Heather, that's only good news for me. How would he know a lot about Justin Timberlake? Well, obviously because of the letter. I think I'm going to tell Aaron. Aaron! I decided to tell Aaron how Heather wrote shit about her in the letter so that Aaron would confront her and hopefully they'd go at it. Why get my hands dirty when I can just point to Heather? 
we all confronted Heather about the letter. What letter? She wrote a letter about us and about you talking about Justin Timberlake. So better step your game up. <gasps> oh, really? Here we go again. Heather's trying to set me up once again. You know what? That really fucking what pisses me off, us? though. Confront her, then. Who knows? Maybe she'll piss off Heather so much that both bitches will be gone. I decide to find Heather, and it happens to be that she's sitting in the phone booth. What's going on? Well, um... I'm really confused because someone out there and there said something about Justin Timberlake and... Last night you got the phone and you were, you were a little upset because you weren't at home and because Justin Timberlake was coming in tonight and like that mm -hmm. you were going to be able to like... Because I'm a huge fan. Then go home and go wail at me, you know what I mean? Heather is so desperate to come up with things to say about me that she is going to resort to saying that I want to date Justin Timberlake. This is so ridiculous. I have my own brain, I have my own fucking life, so it's never gonna just be like, well, just because there's a man in my life, I'm gonna end everything else. This is so pathetic. She's so desperate, and she just didn't know how to defend herself. Hi, you Heather. don't need to be Every here. Time. You don't need to be here. You're not into him. It's always about football players and this and that. It's like, it's never about fucking Brett. Heather, I think that Heather is so insecure and so threatened by me that she's trying to make up anything to get me eliminated. Just go for give it. Give up, be, be, have some dignity and give up and just go home because you're not here for him and you know it. Erin goes after Heather, they had an argument. Man, I'm a fucking genius. She's so fucking bullshit. Stupid bitch, fuck her. I'm pissed off. There's elimination tonight, so I decide to stop by his room and see if I can talk to him. And I want to set the record straight with Brett. Who is it? It's Aaron. It's the funniest thing. Suddenly, all the girls need to talk to Brett on elimination day. I woke up actually in a great mood, and I'm in a really foul mood right now. Here, here's my deal. If you have a problem with someone, take it up with them. I actually came here originally just because I hadn't talked to you in a couple days, because I just wanted to say hello and see how you were doing. And then I go out there, and I find out that there's something else going on. At this point, I'm frankly getting sick of hearing about Aaron and Heather star fucking, and I'm on the fence as to who to believe. Right now, both of them were about to be eliminated. You're popular tonight. Mm. <laughs> well, they know I'm pissed. to go home tonight but the first one would definitely be Erin because she's a poser one day Heather is going to be 60 years old living in a trailer park with five children and a 300 pound man because that's all that she can ever have in her life because she is still a stripper at 32 after all if I wanted my competitor to go home I'd say Heather but if I wanted somebody who I didn't think was here for the real reason I'd say Erin so, so far, I definitely feel like the puppet master here in the house. Dallas was out the door, Aaron's gone next, and you know what? I'm gonna have to concoct my new plan for the next victim. Good evening, everybody. Hi. Well, today has been a hell of a day. Um, and as it narrowed down, it's getting much tougher for me. I can no longer say I'm not connected. I've spent time with all of you. And I take everything that I see and I hear in this house very serious. We've got eight girls left. We've got seven passes. And if you don't mind tonight, I'm in one of those moods to just get down to it, okay? Let's, let's bust it out. This girl um, is someone who I finally got to spend some quality time with. Um, I got to learn a lot about her, her soul. Jess, would you come down here? Did you have a good time last night? Mm -hmm. Awesome. Will you stay here and rock my world? I do. Awesome. Brett and I definitely found that connection to where, you know, my stay in the house will be elongated. But there's still a lot more that we need to get to know about each other. This girl has a beautiful smile a warm personality, something about her that's very friendly that has kept her in this house. I have not spent a whole lot of time, but she came there firing her big guns today. Mia, would you come down here, please? Would you stay here and continue to rock my world? Awesome. This girl I've always considered, um, well, well, I'll just say it, my wild thing. Brandy M, come on down here, please. I am a little surprised about his choice, and, you know, let's just put it out there. Brandy is just, she's a drunk. Would you stay here? Yes. Shoot with me? Yes. Ride dirt bikes with me? Yes. And rock my world? Yes. Awesome. 
This girl tonight came in, she came to my door, knocked on the door, hung out with me, and I got to learn a lot about her and her crazy eyes. Lacey, would you please come down here? Hobble over as best I can. Okay. <laughs> Brett gives crazy Lacey her pass. I'm just thinking I should have knocked her ass out in football and laid her out. Will you stay here in this house, not kill me in my sleep, <laughs> and rock my world? I would love to. Thank you. The other girls really need to watch out because once I set a target on somebody, that person's usually going. I wonder who I should target next. Magdalena, would you please come down here? We stay here and rock my world. Sure. Awesome. Sam, you come down here, please. We stay here and rock my world. Of course. Awesome. So it's down to Aaron and I, and I am freaking out. What the hell's going on? She's a lying asshole. Why am I even being paired up with her? I don't go down without a fight, but the thing is I'm not going to lower myself to a stripper whore level either because I'm better than her, and I'll say that outright. I am better than Heather. Before I go into this, um, I'm going to address this subject with everybody. I, I do deal with certain mistrust issues, um, and I hear everything that's going on. I don't want to judge anybody on what has been said to me, but there is one issue I need to address, and this is with Heather in front of everybody. I think that at times you really do have my back, but there's also things which make it extremely tough for me to also take everything you're saying to me completely into my soul. I go back and forth. You know, Aaron and I had a very strong connection at the studio, and knowing that both of you are beautiful women, and I don't think you're ever gonna have any problem finding a guy, that guy just may not be me. For now, I gotta go with my gut. Heather, would you come down here, please? In the end, Brett gives me my pass. You stay here and help me to not only figure things out, but things that mean you need to figure out, all right? Mm -hmm. And rock my world. All right. In the end, I got to go with my gut. If you're lying to me, Heather, I'm going to find out. Count on it. Aaron, would you come up here, please? pulled me in and I bought it and then I just got this feeling at the end that I didn't know if you meant it. I, I don't know yet. I don't know how to read you. I'm sorry, Aaron, for you. The tour ends here. I understand. Thanks. Victory is sweet. Bye-bye, Starfucker. If Brett really wants people that are going to talk shit and 60-year-old strippers, then really I'm over it. And you know what? I have plenty of men waiting for me back in Chicago. Down. Quite frankly, I'm sick of all the bullshit. And really, I have had bigger and better stars than Brett Michaels. May we continue to learn about each other. May we have respect for each other. And at the same time, I just want to say this. I, I know all the shit that's going on. Here we go. Cheers, everybody. Let's rock this out. You ready? Set. Hey, just get him. All right, let's like, cover that ball. Drive the Oh, it, man. That's it. That's it. That's it. Keep going. Good. Attack. Oh, get up. Go, get up, Andrew. Get up. Go, Attack. Baby. Attack. Attack. Oh. That's it. That's it. Nice. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's down. No, she's. Jess, how about a round of applause for her, man? Come on. Jess, you and Flay. <laughs>